The ALC actually works for us. That land commission is supposed to protect, uh, you know, environmentally sensitive land, and we're, our message is very strong. Protect it, do not take it out of the ALR. A 35-pad trailer park is planned for the east side of Vassal Lake. For the development to move forward, the land must be released from the agricultural land reserve, and residents are not happy. Because that property right over there has some wetland, it's ideal habitat for uh, birds and wildlife. And once you put in 35 trailers, you're looking at anywhere from 50 to 100 people at any given time all year round because he's bringing in septic, electricity, water, uh, hookup. So uh, all of a sudden, you're going to be increasing the population on this lake in the winter months probably by 20 25 percent. His property was identified as high to very high in environment sensitiveness. So we're looking at that and going, there's no way that should be taken out of the ALR. The area already raises many concerns. As an example, last night we had another collision right at that sharp intersection, uh, that sharp curve. So uh, it's already a high collision area, and this is only going to make it worse. He wants to put the septic field right along the highway. That whole area is known to be unstable. There's been flooding in the past. Uh, the whole pullout where the you have uh, public access, that is totally has been done by a washout and was totally filled in because of it. So we are very afraid that uh, where he plans to put that septic uh, field is it may get washed out in the future. The Vassal Lake Stewardship Association conducted a survey. 98% of homeowners around the lake signed the petition not to have that development. On top of that, we put up on our website a petition and in a matter of three days, we've had over a thousand signatures also on that on our website on uh, uh, um, vasolake.com. So it is obvious that the general public and homeowners have serious concerns with this development. Residents have sent their concerns to the regional district of Okanagan Similkameen, but ultimately the decision rests in the hands of the Agricultural Land Commission. For Castanet News, I'm Dale Corey.